You don't want to overprice your home or else you're negotiating against yourself. When I work with sellers, I determine price three different times. The first time I evaluate what your home is potentially worth is before I even see it and after our strategy call. When I arrive for our listing appointment, I bring in a rough valuation range based on comparable sales and without having seen your home in person. Following our listing appointment, I provide a pricing breakdown of what I think your home would sell for if we listed it on the market today. This comparison takes your home and compares it to three to four other homes that have sold in your neighborhood of comparable size, square footage, beds and bath, in order to determine what your home is likely worth. I price your home again one last time before we go to market. The market changes on a near weekly basis, so we need to take into account, have there been new home sales in your neighborhood? Is there new competition? Has the market shifted? These are all different factors that will influence your sales price. Pricing homes is both an art and a science. You need to have both in order to hit the market correctly. When scientifically pricing a home, I use comparable sales and will adjust key features of that home to account for ones that are better than your home and ones that are not as great as your home. Using that data, I'll come up with a rough range of what your home is worth. It's typically pretty tight and it's in a spreadsheet form so you can see my adjustments and I can prove how I got to the number that I got to. The art of pricing is understanding the market conditions and how the market is moving. Sometimes we can push the price a little bit higher because the market is a little bit hotter. Other times we may have to pull back and go lower in pricing because the market is a little bit cooler and there's less buyers active. We know that we price accurately if we're getting showings. There's a specific number of showings we should see per week for your price point within your specific neighborhood that I'm tracking as your agent. If we aren't hitting those metrics, then we need to evaluate both condition, pricing, market and whether or not we are situated correctly with current market and overall competition that you may be up against. As an agent, my pricing recommendation is to be a little bit more on the conservative side. Why? Because it allows buyers to generally be interested in your home and allows buyers to ultimately dictate what your home is worth. We need to have a bottom line or a floor, and that's what we agree to when we list your home for sale. But ultimately, buyers dictate what your home is worth. And when we overprice it, we end up negotiating against yourself because we have to chase the market down. That's exactly what we don't want to have happen. Don't blindly price your home. Support it with real data and comparable sales. If you want to learn more about properly pricing your home for sale, click the link below.